how to jailbreak iOS 8.4. Uh, this jailbreak is untethered, meaning that you will be able to reboot your device. Uh, and this jailbreak also works on all devices that will be able to update to iOS 8.4 through iTunes. Uh, I'll have a list of the um, iDevices that will work with this jailbreak down below in the description. Uh, secondly, you're going to need two programs for this jailbreak. First of all, you're going to need the brand new version of iTunes. I believe this is version 12.2. Uh, but any version above uh, 12 will work with this jailbreak. Secondly, you're going to need the jailbreak tool, which is Tai Chi. I'll have a link to this in the description as well. Uh, so once you have these two, you can get your device ready. So make sure you've backed up all your data to uh, iTunes or iCloud. Uh, we will not be responsible for any data lost through this jailbreak. So make sure you've backed up either through iTunes or iCloud. Uh, second of all, you're going to need a fresh restore of iOS 8.4. To do this, you can go to iTunes and press restore, and this will uh, install a fresh ver version of iOS 8.4 onto your device. So, just to show you that this device um, that I'm currently using today, an iPhone 5, has just been freshly restored to iOS 8.4. So, if you go to settings, general, about, you can see indeed that it is on iOS 8.4. Okay, so check so we've got our programs uh, we are on iOS 8.4 with a fresh um, restore and we have a Windows based computer ready for the jailbreak this is currently not compatible on Mac yet so make sure you are using a Windows based computer um, so the third thing we're going to do is go to settings and we need to we need to make sure three things are in line before we continue First of all, you're going to go to iCloud and make sure Find My iPhone is switched off. Now, usually you'd be logged in. Um, if you're not, log into your iCloud and scroll all the way to the bottom and make sure Find My iPhone is switched off. This is very crucial for the jailbreak to work. Second of all, if you have a passcode on your device, you need to go to passcode and press turn off passcode. Currently, mine is off because I've just restored it, hence why there's no iCloud and there's no passcode. Now, the third instruction, which applies to everyone, is go to General, and then if we go to um, Auto Lock, we're going to set this to Never. This makes sure that the device does not lock, um, as in go into the lock screen during the jailbreak. So once you've done those three, you have your jailbreak program and a fresh restore of iOS 8.4 and a Windows-based computer, you're ready to jailbreak. So let's go ahead. The first step is to open iTunes, so we double-click that. The second step, take your lightning cable, connect it to your iPhone or iPad or iPod. If prompted on your phone, you need to press trust, like so. And then you'll see onto the screen, we should see the iPhone pop up here any minute now. Now guys, this whole jailbreak process is going to be in real time. So if you look at the duration of this video, it'll give you a rough idea of how long it takes to jailbreak. Uh, obviously this excludes your backup and uh, putting everything back onto your phone from iTunes or iCloud. So bear that in mind. Make sure that you have a fresh restore of iOS 8.4, meaning that you connect it to iTunes and you press restore. Prior to this, you need to make sure that you back up your data. Now this can be backed up to iTunes or iCloud. So iTunes has successfully recognized our device. So what we're going to do is minimize out of this. And we're going to open up Taiji. So if we double tap this, make sure you're on the home screen. And you're going to press run. Right guys, if you get an error at this stage saying it doesn't have the iTunes drivers, I'll have a link in the description with the drivers you need. Simply install this and it will uh, waive the error that you get. These drivers are to fix the issue with iTunes 12.2. So if you have the latest version of iTunes or if you encounter an error when you open Taiji, look in the description and I will have a driver for this and it will uh, eliminate the error that you get when you open Taiji. So once we have our phone connected and we see uh, this message on the screen, we're simply going to scroll up to the dock 
um, we're going to put our phone into airplane mode. This is going to speed up the whole process. So now we've done that, we're going to uncheck 3K Assistant. That's unnecessary. What we need is Cydia. So Cydia is checked. We have our iPhone ready. We're going to press start. The device is going to restore, uh, sorry, reboot several times during this process. So just be patient and let it do its thing. As you can see there's a little sync logo in the top if you saw it then so it's just doing its thing maybe at 20 percent for a while but please be patient it will complete eventually Okay, so jailbreak succeeded. At this point, you can press close. And we can go into iTunes, close out of iTunes, close out of Taiji, and unplug your device. No. So we're done with the uh, PC based part. The rest of the jailbreak process will be on a device. So just give it a moment to reboot. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is scroll up and take it off airplane mode. Let it connect to the Wi Fi. Slide to unlock. Okay, so we scroll to the second page, we've got Cydia. You're going to open Cydia and let it prepare the file system. This again takes a moment or two, so please be patient while it completes. Now, this video is all in real time. I haven't cut out any parts or fast forwarded any parts in this video. This gives you a rough idea of how long the jailbreak takes. Okay, so now we're rebooting. So we can slide to unlock. And if we open Cydia again, there we go, Cydia homepage. 
we are successfully unlocked on iOS 8.4. So if I just scroll down to the bottom, there we go, Cydia, iOS 8.4. Thank you for watching guys, that's been a tutorial on how to jailbreak on iOS 8.4. Please stay tuned for more videos, like, share and subscribe. Peace.